When it comes to picking out a tree for Christmas, some may think that cutting down a real tree is not good for the environment, but it can actually be beneficial in many ways. Real tree is a renewable, uh, sustainable, biodegradable option. Tom Wilbert, the general manager at Wilbert's Tree Farm, tells me that since artificial trees are often made in factories out of plastic, that they can actually increase our carbon footprint. If you're looking for a more sustainable alternative, there are many ways that real trees can be used even after the holidays are over. At the end of the season, there's, uh, there's many local recycling programs for Christmas trees. They can be used for mulch, firewood, or bird habitats after you're done using them inside your home. In the seven to ten years Christmas trees take to grow, they release oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide into the air, essentially acting like a man-made forest. The tradition many families take part in during the holiday season helps local farms like this reserve a safe space for young trees to grow and encourages them to continuously replant more trees year after year. For every one tree that uh, is harvested this season, in the spring next year we'll be planting two to three trees to take its place, um, which again further reduces our carbon footprint. For many families, the choice is an easy one when picking out a holiday tree, and there are pros and cons to both types. Artificial trees can be more convenient and a better choice for those with allergies, while others prefer the adventure and experience of picking out a real one, and of course, that real tree scent. Reporting in Webster, Christine Gregory, News 8. All right, Christine, thank you. As far as caring for your real tree goes, Wilbert says it's relatively low maintenance. The farm recommends having a fresh cut at the bottom of your tree and to use warm water to prevent sap from covering the bottom of the stump, keeping it nice and fresh all season long.